What is going on guys, Eric White in the building, and no, I did not choose my last name unfortunately, and today we are going to be talking about three ways to instantly make your videos better. Now there could easily be way more points, I can go into way more detail about a bunch of things, but today we're going to focus on three essential things, just the essential things that you're going to want to think about and put into practice if you want to make better videos. Now I definitely could have used these tips and a lot more tips when I first started my channel and with that said let's start with point number one and that is better audio now here's the thing guys audio is half a video but audio is probably the most important thing about every video that you ever watch now if you think about any movie you think about how great it sounds the soundtrack for it the dialogue how great voices like there's the the main thing that you think of is how great it sounds now I touched upon this a little bit in my how to choose music for your videos and the, a lot of the same points are going to be carried over into this part of the video so a lot of the things that you want to be keeping in mind when you're trying to get better audio is to one make sure that you invest into a quality mic now i'm not asking you to spend 350 like i did for this mic but i am asking you to spend maybe it's 20 dollars for a live mic maybe it's you know maybe a hundred dollars for a a circular mic a condensed like anything as long as you are getting better audio that is all that matters and the reason why that matters is because if we switch to the onboard microphone that's on my phone you can see that it sounds very terrible i sound distant it's pretty echoey i there's not a lot of depth to my voice and it just sounds very 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 terrible and even if you have to spend 20 bucks once again to get a lav mic it will greatly greatly improve the quality of your videos because the audio sounds way better now if we switch back to this mic you can see that it sounds a whole lot better and it's easier to pick up my voice it's a lot there's a lot of depth to it it just overall sounds a nice rich sound to it that you wouldn't get if you were just using an onboard camera microphone now when you're going to be using a mic it's going to be very important that you get the mic as close to the source as possible and for this instance the source is going to be your mouth because that's what's going to be producing the sound obviously so you want to get it as close to your mouth as possible this mic is literally just out of frame of the camera so if i lift this up right now you can see that it's just barely out of frame for the camera and it's picking up my voice perfectly like you don't want it to be across the room because the farther the mic is away from your voice it's going to be picking up so much more of that sound and it's going to sound very echoey and very bad you can have a great mic but if it's far away it does you no good because it's just not going to be picking up your voice like you want it to and that goes for a lab mic too Lab mics typically sit right here on the shirt, right below your mouth, which is good. But make sure just in general that the mic is as close to your mouth as possible. It's going to make it sound so much better. Now, you could easily have a great video with great audio, but you cannot have a great video with bad audio. Now, the second thing that you can do to instantly improve your videos is to have better lighting. Now, I realize that a lot of people do not have the money to go spend five or $600 on an Aperture 120D. I don't even have the money to do that. And I realize that some people might not even have the money to go spend 130 or 140 on a Godox SL60W, which is the light that I'm using right now. Now, if you don't have the money for those types of things, use natural light. Do not use the light in your rooms. Do not use the weird lamps or anything like that. Use natural light. It's free. It adds nice contrast to your face. It's very flattering. It just, it just adds so much of a unique look to your videos. It looks a little bit more cinematic, I guess you could say, than using anything else. Use natural light. It looks good. It complements your videos. Super easy to color grade if you decide to color grade it. It's just an overall better look for your videos. Now, if you do have the money to spend on a light, please, please make sure that you dial in the right settings for your light. Do not have it super bright to where it's extremely overexposed. Do not have it super dark to where you literally just blend into the background. Make sure you take the time to dial in the settings, position it right so you can get the right angle and have this nice fall off on your face. Or maybe you want it to be like a ring light and just shoot straight at you. Make sure you take the time to get the right settings for the light because that is going to make a big improvement to your videos. Now the last thing that we're going to be talking about is learning your editing software. Now you might be wondering, how is this going to make me better at videos? Well, you have to edit your videos in a software, so why not learn the software that you use? So for me, I've used about three or four editing softwares up until this point. My very first video, a few of my videos were on iMovie, then I moved to Filmora Pro for a couple of months, and now I've been on Adobe Premiere Pro for exactly one year now, a little bit over one year. and. I pretty much know that editing software like the back of my hand. 
yes there are some effects that i don't know what they do but as far as what to do when something goes wrong how to edit my sequence settings how to import export and just overall chop clips up and edit a video i know that 100 percent. i don't have to question anything i know exactly what to do if something is wrong and a lot of people they just know how to move clips around they don't know how to do anything else i encourage you highly learn the keyboard shortcuts learn some of the effects learn how to render and like all these little things that make a huge difference watch tutorials on how to use the program to its full potential it is going to help you so much because the faster you can edit videos the faster you can put out more videos that's less time that you have to spend sitting there trying to figure out things it'll speed up your workflow tremendously it'll get you more money because you're not spending that time to edit you're spending that time making more videos or shooting more videos so highly highly encourage you to really really sit down and figure out your editing software it's going to make a huge huge difference now as a recap tip number one you're going to want to get better audio whether that's through a lav mic a boom mic a condenser mic it does not matter make sure that mic is as close to your face as possible that you're not using the camera mic unless that is your last last resort tip number two is going to be better lighting don't use room lighting use natural light if you have it make sure you dial in the settings if you're going to be using an external light like a aperture 120d if you have the money or a godox or anything like that make sure you dial in those settings so you know what you're going to get when the video comes out it's not going to be underexposed it's not going to be overexposed it's going to be a nice pleasing image lastly tip number three is going to be to learn your editing software learn the keyboard shortcuts learn how to do more than just cut clips learn everything about the software so that you can edit faster and speed up your workflow so that's gonna be all i got for you guys today if you guys like the video make sure to go down below click that like button turn it blue if you guys are new click the sub button join innovation nation and just like always i see you guys in the next one